Hello, Questers. What's happening? A little snow today, a little cold is coming back. I was wishing for an early spring, but no big deal. The sun is high, the snow won't last. Hello, everybody. Hope everybody had a good week since last Wednesday. Everybody getting hyped up for tonight's episode. Episode 19 already. Lordy 40, holy mooyan. Very good, Sydney. Let's see who's in the chat here. We'll give him a shout out. And there's Patricia with her brand new Quest swag hat that's posted on the Quest Facebook page. Looking good. Hello, Gloria. Hello, John. Hello, Tammy Williams. Jeff M's in the house. Brenda's in the house. Daryl's in the house. Gary's in the house. Hello, Luann. Betty, thank you for joining us. We are watchers are in the house. Hello, Joe in the house. Tammy Hurst is in the house. There's the professor. Daniel Spino, thank you for all your work. Thank you so much, Daniel. There's David. Hello, David. There is Judy on the Facebook side. Good evening, everyone. Good to be here. I think Oak Island will be interesting tonight. Yep. I think so. Hello, Tommy. Hello, Deborah. Hello, Stacy. Everybody's coming in the house on a pre show Tuesday. The Curse of Oak Island. Episode 19 tonight. That's all we have is the promo that they showed us last week. No new news, but uh, just episode 19, High Ho Silver, as they gave a description. Hello, Lewis. Hello, Donna. They gave us a description for tonight's show. As the connection between Nolan's Cross and the Knights Templar deepens, the team digs up treasure on lot five. And we'll go some through some promo shots of what the heck you think this silver thing is. Hello, Peter. Next week, episode 20 already, is called Wet and Wild. Next Tuesday night, hello, Sand Dollar Ray. It's been what it's a long time. I appreciate it. Hello, Robin. Hello, Jim James on the Facebook side. Hello, Dan. On the description for next week's show, Wet and Wild, is they might have hit a water problem. The team has reached target depth at the garden shaft. Now, is that 93 feet? What they got the permit for? We'll soon find out next week. But their drilling efforts may be thwarted by the legendary flood tunnel. So we'll see what happens next week. That's episode 20. Again, I want to thank all my supporters on all the QOOI uh, channels. I'll uh, thank each and every one of you tomorrow when Judy's with me with her synopsis from tonight's show and Daniel's uh, artifacts analysts with Raymond. We also have tomorrow giveaway, not only a hat, 
but from Corian Mall and Christopher Morford, another free book giveaway. It's tomorrow night. Hello, Kathy. It's tomorrow night. A free book from Corian and Christopher and a free hat. They said they wanted to uh, give away four free books. We got one done last week. Number two tomorrow, we'll have two more books to give away. I thank them so much for that giveaway on their book about the menorah and the factual facts they have on their research. Hello, Linda. Good to see everybody. Yup, David. Yup, very nice of them. Very nice of them. We also have, within days, a book coming out from Scott Walters about Oak Island. We'll see what that's all about once we get one and read it. And that's always a book that he always goes in depth. Believe them or not, it's all interesting to me. And uh, we'll see what that book entails by Scott Walters and Don Rue, which should be out in days. Hello, Gary. How are you? Uh, we'll be on Discord tonight to talk to you guys. It's the same old four of us, but we chat about what the show, what happened tonight. Little highlights at about 10, 15 p.m. Eastern time. And it's not text. It's like uh, audio, just verbal talking through Discord. Hope to see you there. Still no word on the tours of 2024, still in the planning stages, but nothing has come up yet. One thing I did see, hello, Michael. Hello, Eric. When I was searching today, for any kind of tidbits. Jim Jeans, for the professor. Here you go, professor. Question for the professor, Daniel Spino. Who does his genealogical research or does he it on his own? It's excellent research, the professor. There you go, Daniel. Like I wanna put it out to the group when I was searching around today, just looking for tidbits, a little bit of information that I haven't spoken of. And I want you guys to search this also. On the History Channel, to me, when I'm clicking around on the Curse of Oak Island spotlight there, on History Channel, no other show right now, it was showing me 22 episodes for season 11. Now, if you guys can look around and see if I'm seeing things, you know, where the where it draws down, um, it was only showing for season 11, 22 episodes. I hope that's wrong. That's only three episodes, but we don't know about drilling downs and such. So let's keep an eye on that as we're approaching next week, episode 20. And tonight, episode 19, guys, let's look on that. Hello, Ashley. No problem. You did do, Cindy? You read it on a couple of uh, sites, only 22 episodes? Huh. So we'll see what's happening. And don't forget, if you guys want a free hat and a free book, you got to let StreamYard use your profile picture only and your name. Like today, above that whole screenshot in Facebook, it says on top of there, in the link, just press on that link in StreamYard, and they'll just let you use your name and your profile picture. Otherwise, when you do hashtag book or hat, you will not be included because you didn't let StreamYard use your profile picture and name only. That's all they take. That's it. Michael. 
22 episodes is all I've seen too. Okay. So we'll we'll see what's going on with that. Could be, Lewis. Could be. If they find something at the end. But if they want another season, Lewis, you know what they're going to do. Right, Kathy the Hook? They'll leave the best to last to go into season 12 if they have enough episodes to go out through the year. Well, we got episode 20 next week, uh, Stacy. Uh, wet and wild. So we'll see. You guys keep an eye on that. I'll keep an eye on that also. I'll keep you updated. You keep me updated. I couldn't really find anything about this. The Timbers from last week's show. Here we go. Hello, Carol. The only thing I could find is Timbers, like I said, notched out like this sir would not be on the floor. They would be the ceiling. Hello, Jan. These timbers that I try to find out, they wouldn't be laid on the floor and notched out like this, sir. They would only be ceiling timbers, and the sides would be cut out to support side members. Hello, Ken. So I looked all over. Hello, Christopher. Hello, Scott. Thanks for coming in. Yeah, that's all I was seeing is 22 episodes. It might be over, but uh, I hope not. I hope not. I hear you, Stacy. And we got to have drilling downs in between. So maybe the first part of April, they might stick a drilling down in, then an episode, then a drilling down in then an episode, and then we're into May. So we got to see. That's their MO about drilling downs towards the end. And then the end one with uh, Maddie Blake uh, in Michigan, if the season is continuing. Yes, Tammy, all the boards are notched at the end, and they're telling us they took that from the floor or it's collapsed. So either that's the ceiling that collapsed on the floor it's not a side support. It's not a floor support. It is a ceiling support beam, which is notched out to hold like six by sixes on the sides to hold the earth above them. You up, Jan? And also they could be repurposed from something like cribbing cube that was used to hold up the earth while they dug. Yeah, yeah. So that's what I really found out about these and that'll be the end of it unless they tell us. But what they described last week was, like I said, disappearing timbers or somebody took them out of there. So it didn't make a clear determination on these. So I try to clear it up the best I can. Yeah, Daniel, it could be deconstructed de as well. Very questionable analysis on these timbers. So I looked all over. That's the best I got for you on these timbers. Dan, we'll find out tonight about the testing of the wood. Not sure until we see tonight's episode. Of course, they're going to test those timbers. If they go back to 1613 and 1650, boy, oh, boy, oh. You know what I mean? I have no idea, Scott. And here's the wood they found in the swamp. Could be part of the pier. Could be part of a shaft. 
could be part of a retaining wall. When they plug the swamp up, we don't know. We got to get more dates on this structure and that red stuff that's underneath. So maybe they'll give us, yeah, Judy, maybe they'll give us some of the results tonight to tie up all these things we saw last week. I hear you. Here's our new moderator. I thank you, David. Something that goes with Daniel brings up about bootlegging. James Anderson played a role in the creation of American bourbon. Thank you, David. Sounds plausible. Yup, Robin, we'll see what happens. Yeah, Jen, everything in the swamp that could have been in there got sucked in there when there was no road, there was no boulders, there was no nothing. And it just acted as a channel coming from the mouth of the river, the mouth of the bay, right into the Oak Island Triangle, which I call the swamp. But before, there was no road, there was no uh, construction of something to block coming in from the bay. So everything just got sucked in there. Yup, Daniel, possible dam feature, and Spooner wondered if it was tied to the Stone Road. Andre, thanks for coming in. Moonshine. Yup, Tammy. So we're showing some broken boards they found in the swamp uh, towards the road. That's the other area of concern that we need dates. And see how they tie it in, I hope. Also, if you like the channel, please hit that like button. Please support if you can. Please subscribe if you can. If you like the podcast and like the material we pursue. We'll have Judy with us tomorrow night at 6.45 p.m. Eastern Time doing a synopsis of tonight's show, Hi Ho Silver, episode 19. In detail, what are synopsis tomorrow? We got the book giveaway tomorrow. What the heck? So be with us tomorrow. If you can. All righty. Like I'm saying, we hope we do get some. Dates. Or if you know they don't give us any dates, you know it was modern. Right, guys? All right, let's go through some promos. Don't have a lot of information tonight to go on. So like I said, it's high hole silver tonight. Let's do some screenshots of the promo. and we'll, we'll talk about what you guys think this piece of silver is when it comes up, okay? Hello, Scottish digger. Here is Rick saying, this is the secret of all secrets. This one presenter. Wrong way, guys. This one presenter is saying in a code, He can put an X marks the spot of the Ark of the Covenant on Oak Island. I'm really scratching my head on this one. They're really reaching for us now, guys, towards the end of the season. I hope it is on there, but I doubt it. This code says... They have brought it forth to light, and again, it cheers the earth. All that leaves are purely bright, shining in their newest worth. 
This shall be the sacred mark which shall guide us to the skies, bearing like a holy ark. All the hearts who love to raise, this shall be the cornerstone which the builders threw away, but was found only one fitted for the ark's stay. I don't think so. Me neither, Lewis. This seems like a filler to hype up the religious relics. We're still looking for the gold and silver signature in the water. So let's look for the gold and silver signature source of, before they come up with this Ark of the Coven uh, story. What do you think, guys? Daniel will know what I'm talking about here. The theorist is looking at a Masonic song that was written by a geologist poet who wasn't a Mason. He claims that a cipher is hidden in this song and reveals where the Ark is hidden on Oak Island by the Templars. This is in a song. Oh my lordy 40, blow me down. What are they going to come up with next? Yup, Ashley. I hear you. I don't think the ark's on Oak Island. I agree with you. You don't dump a relic like that and then leave it unattended. You got it. A thousand percent. I'm with Ashley. Yup. Sort of over there. Yup. Just to keep us hooked, got to put, put that stuff in at the end, Daryl. Got to keep the pump up, you know, treasure chest, gold. But like I said before, let's find the source of the gold and silver in the water first. Let's do that first. All right. What do you think, guys? Are you with me or without me? Daniel Spino, my head hurts. You're not the only one. It's almost over for the season to get our head back together. And we'll see what they showed this season. Are you up, David, and stop the flood tunnels. I mean, they can't put pylons 300 feet in the ground around an area. Hello, lards. It's spring. Anything lined up on the cross for the spring? Not that I know of Nolan's cross and that extra boulder they found in the swamp. Only the theorist uh, had that uh, pointing to uh, a chamber or a treasure near the garden shaft or on top of the garden shaft. And Jeremy says, Shakespeare is the key to the map of the ark. Yep, Christopher, a lot of rain last year, but who knows with this weather. Daniel, you're teasing us. I think we know the story of the gold and silver signatures. Let's just say you guys are going to be in for a surprise. All right, Daniel, spill the beans. J. Rowe, I like this show. I watched every episode. As a result of the recaps, it was annoying. Yeah, a lot of recaps, Jay. Tons of it. Tons of it. Hello, Chris. Thanks for coming in. I believe the Templars were so fearful of being killed off, they dumped all the gold, silver, Ark of Covenant, or whatever else they had. Yeah, but where? That's the big thing. Hello, Williams. Thanks for coming in. There is treasure for sure, he says. And the flood tunnels are pretty good defenses. They've lasted this long. I hear you. Jeremy says, the ark's not on the island, but the menorah is. Could be. 
Low Lori. What is the big item for this year? Scott wants to know. So far this year, the biggest item? I think when they dated that wood from 1630 to whatever it was, even though it could be repurposed, I thought that was very interesting. Because the Muyan didn't show us nothing. Holy Muyan! The recaps of the show, Tammy. In the show, they keep on repeating and going back. They say one word, we're back in Italy. They say one word, we're back in France. And that's all to stretch out the episode. They only can do so much of what they have to show us. So that's the production end. That's all I know. That's my own opinion. And he says, the Ark of the Covenant is on Oak Island. Okay. How much you want to make a bet? And he can put an X on the spot. Challenge him. Hello, village. There's the professor. In his opinion, it makes more sense for the Templars to flee Europe in the 1300s as opposed to 1200 AD. It really doesn't make sense if they do that so early when the Holy War was raging in the Holy Land. Everyone was needed. Very good, Daniel. Thank you. Judy, let's not give too much away. Let them read it in the book. How many theorists have put X on the spot on the island for all these years? Who the heck knows, uh, Tammy? Lots. What did they find? Nothing. You're up to head tunnels in Jerusalem, yeah. And Lori says, biggest disappointment for me, no tunnel dead end under the garden shaft and attempts to disclaim the Xena map that we have to look out for and find out what's going on there. We'll find out shortly. Yep, William, the, the Templars made fantastic buildings, churches, and tunnels. It's unbelievable what they could do. And here's the piece of silver. Yup, Chris, that's all they do is get the GPS reading and say maybe. Yup, I hear you. Hello, Brett. Thanks for coming in. What do you guys think this silver piece is that they'll explain tonight? And Emma will explain tonight. Let's see who's the closest. This seems like a little case. StreamYard is the serving uh, streamers that I use to stream, Gary, but you're in here. So you're good in here. 
Gary. Yup, Jane, I agree with you. No sense of arguing with people like that. But you got on the show. So kudos to him. Hi, Tony Clegg. Pot C, what's happening? Daryl says it's a d- directive. Daryl says it's a tip to a knife shield. Sheath. All the lights are in my eyes. I can barely read the, the chat. Yep, William. Nobody's trying to prove the Ark is down on Oak Island until we find it. Correct the mundo. If they do find it, you better close your eyes. Yeah, I hear you. There's Gary. It's a cigarette holder. Fancy one. Yeah, I hear you. Maureen says it's broken on one end. Daniel says it's Dr. Spooner's spoon, silver spoon. <clears throat> That's what it looks like. That's how big it is. About four fingers wide, crushed. FDR cigarette holder. I like that, Linda. Christopher, something from a ship. Now, they're on lot five when they found this, Christopher. What do I got in the next picture here? Yes. No way. Wow. I finally got him. Yes. So who's going to be close tonight? Lurry, part of the truckload of silver. Decorative at the end. Joe thinks it's a silver knife handle. <laughs> Linda, she's coming up with some good ones. A turn signal from a dump truck. I like that, Linda. I like that. Let's go, guys. Let's hear you. Jim Barlow, thanks for coming in. Certainly not a guy hard dump truck load. You know, Jen, the holder of a quilt pen. That's the best one I heard yet. A quilt pen. You know how they're fancy. The holder. I like it. I like it, guys. Yep, Tammy, it just looks like a silver tube, about five inches long, narrowed and crushed. And on the end, got little V's cut out of it and some lines. And they said this was the treasure. I know, Daniel, I can't take much more. Was lot five part of Zena's map? No. And what did she label that area? We'll have to look back on that. Hello, Carlo. Looks like the end of a bolo tie, a snuff inhaler. Well, it could be Eric. Yup, Jen, you would burn your. Yup, lot five showed the hatch that Gary says, yeah. No, it doesn't look like a tool.
Me up, Lewis. Let me put Lewis in here. Last episode, we found the copper coin. This one's a silver thingy. Hope the next one is some gold. Yeah, who knows? And here comes Daniel, a Templar eye gouger. Yep. Daniel, you're on the ball today. So we'll see what they say tonight. Hi, ho, silver. The team digs up treasure on lot five. So this is our treasure. And don't forget, it was found with a copper coin on lot five under their tree stump. You're up in the hatch and the valve look like they're on lot five as compared to Xena's map. Yep, we'll still look, we'll still see. Well, we really don't know what this thing is. We'll find out tonight. Doesn't look like anything that would be on eBay. No idea. And we'll see it tonight. So, guys, that's about all I have for tonight. Don't forget, tonight's episode 19, High Ho Silver. Next episode 20 is Wet and Wild. I think they hit, or they think they hit maybe the flood tunnel. Paul says a wig hairbrush handle. Yeah. Could be. So, we've got episode 19 tonight, episode 20 next week. Tomorrow will be on 6 45 p.m. Eastern Time. Me and Judy. Julia will have her synopsis and all the facts about tonight. And uh, we'll find out what's going on. So don't forget, everybody enjoy the show tonight at 9 p.m. USA only. And for you people that have VPNs. And we'll go from there. Yeah, we'll have a good show tomorrow. It's our podcast Wednesdays, giving away hats, giving away books, finding out what the heck they are doing tonight with all the screenshots. Going through it all tomorrow, guys. All righty, guys. What do I always tell you? Quick Quest Podcast 30 pre-show. If anybody wants to come on the show, sometimes I'll do it on Tuesdays. I want to thank all my supporters tomorrow. Each and every one of you is. I'll, I'll support. And uh, not I'll support. You guys are supporting me. And I appreciate each one of you. So remember, members, always go forward. You may get set back in your life, but just believe in yourself. Believe in your dreams, no matter how old you get. For tomorrow's a never given. Never. With this crazy, crazy world we live in, I can't even say anything about it anymore. So as my friend Jan says, you keep smiling, you stay safe, you also stay strong, and keep that positivity going. Be positive, physically, mentally, as much as you can. Get that negativity, throw it away, blow it away. Get that positivity going. Thank you for joining me tonight. We'll see you tomorrow night with Judy at 6.45 p.m. Eastern time. I hope you enjoyed this podcast. See you later, alligator. Thank you. Take care. And bye-bye. <laughs>